Hello, I'm Pam of Healing Stars. This is a chart for the 29th of June, Monday, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's based in London, but I'm using whole signs. I'm using Aries as the ascendant here. It's a not an easy week. There is good stuff. It's always good to start off with the good news. And the good news is we do have Venus and Jupiter in Leo coming together this week. Now this doesn't happen very often. Venus is an evening star. Jupiter also is visible in the night sky and they are so close together now. They join exactly actually at the new at the full moon. The other thing that's going on and I'll move the chart forward is the full moon. And that occurs the 2nd of July, it actually occurs early in the morning. It is virtually here and what's happening is that the moon is joining Pluto. It does this every month but this is a full moon so it highlights, it brings into prominence the energy of Pluto. Now Pluto, here it is, the moon and Pluto, is to do with transformation. There is a however. The however is that Mars, Mars is also very close to the Sun. It's been traveling close to the Sun now for quite a few weeks and it carries on because they are virtually the same kind of speed. The Sun is moving away, that's good news, but there's still a lot of tension. Mars and the Sun together can achieve great things, great leadership. We've seen that in President Obama recently in the States and the equality, the marriage equality, the act that's been passed. These are good signs. They are important progress, evolution. But also Pluto is the shadow. Pluto is the god of the underworld and Mars is now coming, it's not exactly opposite at the full moon, but it's coming to that point. And so we are seeing some really nasty, horrific scenes in the news, terrorism. The shadow of the terrorist is very apparent in this, it could be a really good season. Neptune bring Neptune into the picture. Here's Neptune in Pisces and it's making a very good trine, exact trine at the full moon. Notice that, nine degrees Pisces, nine degrees of Cancer. Water signs, emotion, feeling, connecting with family and not just personal family but the family of man. Neptune brings us the highest grace it can also take us down into disillusion. With the sun, the sun is always about consciousness. It brings to light. So it's bringing to light the healing energy that Neptune promises. When we gather together as the family of man. So it's not an easy full moon, but the possibilities are to use the energies of Pluto, of Mars, to dig deep within ourselves, to heal the shadow within ourselves and transform that. So no longer do we see it outside as a mirror in our world. And I believe that Jupiter and Venus and Leo can give us the heart Leo governs the heart and the physical body, but also the leadership qualities of love, connection, and taking a stand against things that are so obviously wrong. One other planet of mention at this full moon is Mercury. Moving forward now, and it is in a very nice position. It connects with Venus and Jupiter and also with Uranus. That's known 
in the trade as a, ta a talent triangle. So Mercury, the messenger in its own sign, can bring news, can bring innovation, can bring miracles. I've mentioned it before, but it is still there. Mercury, a small planet, close to the sun usually, not visible, but it is a very important planet. It is about communication and communicating in this chart is saying communicating leadership. President Obama is a Leo and I think we're seeing that if you look at the news and if you're in favour of him and his leadership, it's really not easy being a leader, especially a leader of the United States. You, we, we all get attacked when we step into leadership and it's only the power of grace, the power of heaven that can keep leaders in that position. I would like to see grace prevailing this week over the shadow of the terrorist. Find out more about my healing workshops, my courses, my coaching at healingstars.com.